building the page is quite um, simple as well. Uh, you just do a symphony, let me think. Symphony app. Call a page called front end. So from the application part, you generate a category, uh, a site is called front end, which is this front end will hold all the front end file. We will call uh, index of PHP. So I refresh this page. So the project is created. So it's actually index PHP. So you come to over here. You can see that index file is actually called calling the application. It's called front end, and this is a production environment. And by default, it created um, the development environment itself over here. So we just access to the file. So this is the uh, development environment where you can see your, you can do troubleshooting and see the, all the queries over here. So there's nothing much right now, so we will skip this. Go ahead creating um, the module. So you just remember that front end is just a, is just a PHP file, it's called front end over here. So from that page, right, you can actually extend to different modules like um, uh, categories modules, addresses modules. I'll show you an example here. So we'll create a new modules on front end. It's called category. So come over here and see there's a category page is created. Spelling error. Category. So this uh, module category has been created. So similar thing, you can go to create addresses, which you which we will use later. So after you created all this, right, you can see you extend further. You can go to modules. You can see the addresses modules and the category modules. So from here, you can see the template, the config file, and the action file. So here is all the file that where you should write your code and some of the place you shouldn't write your code. Okay, um, we'll go further. Okay, I will show you some demo. By default, when you go to the addresses, you redirect. You actually do a forward to a default module. So we'll show the Symphony default page. So we remove this line. We call the index access template. So when you refresh, Oh, by the way, Symphony do caching on this, so we have to clear cache. Addresses. Wrong spelling again. Triple D. So you can see that is a big. So it's actually it's separate. Um, this is the part where you should write a code action. And you can start writing your code over here and pass the thing over here. Let's say um, we do something like this. You can from the template file to call the hello world. So it will display hello world words. Okay. Um, this is the thing that you can play around with Symphony and we, I will go further to generate the admin admin page where you can do the data entries and all that. So uh, there's another module, it's something called um Propel Generate Crude. We do it on the front end. And the module will call address. Just now we have triple D, and the address should come from the address book, address table. Is it address table? Addresses table. Okay. Um, so now we go to the page. 
you can see this admin panel over here. So from here, the address, you can, when you run the command, you auto generate all the template over here. Um, this is a place where you write code actions to key in the data into the database and all that. This is an auto generate uh, generated page. So from here, this is a, you, as you can see, um, I'm coming to the address this page so I can list all the addresses. You can make the changes from here and all the changes I make over here. So you create another pages called category, address group category. 